emotions. Our son sleeps in a type of Montessori bed on the floor. It's sort of an emergency because we had him in, in a cot and then all of a sudden he grew a lot and I was afraid he was going to fall so we put him there before we thought we would but we always liked that idea. When I'm sat there or my husband is sat there waiting for him to fall asleep, you're sat on the floor. I'm an old woman now <laughs> so I need some cushions. <laughs> And we've been using these ones, but the theme doesn't go with the animal stuff we've got around. And I'm quite sick of seeing the Union Jack already. So we're going to give them a facelift. And I have this fabric that I think is ideal for it. It's like a thick uh, canvas. It doesn't stretch or anything. And it says it's 80% polyester and 20% cotton and it measures 130 by, by 150. I bought it in a shop here in Spain, it's called Conforama, a furniture shop, and I don't know what it's supposed to be for, if it's for a um, tablecloth or for what, but it has, it's all hemmed, and with this one I bought another two, I bought the one I use for the stools and chair, and the one I have for uh, pressing, which has been ruined because of the steam. It, the steam just stained everything, I don't know why. So I'm going to start undoing all the seams so I can make the most out of it and don't sew with all this. It'll be quite bulky. The core shop, so it's all hemmed. So I'm going to start by undoing all these hems so I can make the most out of it. Who's the one who said three hours later? SpongeBob. This took long. And now a bit of a controversial topic, which is that I'm going to reuse the zippers. I just took this from the baby's room because we use it every day and I want it, I'll need it tonight. So I want to leave it uh, already made. And right now I don't have such big zips and I don't want to go out and get some and I'm not using these cushions, so I'm going to reuse the zippers, wash the cushions and put them in the pile that I have there waiting for someone to take. There's a lot of stuff I have from when I did the cleaning last year when the hole came and I don't want to throw it away because it's good stuff but I'm not using it I don't know anyone who wants it, but it's there. So I'm going to wash them and put them there. And for the big one, I'm going to make some uh, bows. The two UK themed ones are 60 by 42 centimeters and then this square block of foam is 55 by 50 and 10 uh, tall, 10 centimeters tall. These are easy to do because it's just two panels sewn together and these you can make in two different ways. You can do it by cutting and sewing together the six panels that make the, the, the block. But because it has a bit of round edge, I'm going to just cut a long panel. I'm going to trace the, the length of it by making it sort of roll on the fabric and then cutting the two sides and sewing them together. So I only have three pieces of material for that. And to make this quite easy, I'm going to, after cutting, just sew the zipper first. So I can sew the zipper on both sides of the panels and then sew the rest of it and it will be done. It's really simple to do and fast.
I just made the most of the fabric because I had just enough. This is what I have left and one of the uh, fronts of the cushions or the backs is a uh, patchwork style but well it doesn't really matter it's just leaves isn't it so and to sew the zipper i'm going to do it uh, following a method i haven't done before which is to sew like you would a normal seam on on one of the sides right sides together and then opening the seam placing the zipper on top and sewing on top of your zipper that way it's already properly stitched and then you open the seam and you have your zipper in And it was perfectly, it worked perfectly fine. I'm quite pleased with that. And then the rest of the cushion, you just have to fold back. So it is right sides together and stitch along it and that's it. This is the patchwork side and now the square one. And the first thing I'm going to do is to hem the two sides that are going to uh, be open and hem it with the uh, ribbons already in so I can then tie nice bows. So I'm going to cut six 20 centimeter strips. I'm just simply going to add it so it's in the seam when I stitch along and you can easily make it stronger by going forwards and backwards with the machine. And to sew the sides to the long piece of material, I put it right sides together on top of it and start sewing. And then when I reach the corner, I just make sure it was properly sewn. And then I turn it, I turn the small piece on top of the longer one and sew again. And that way you get a nice finish. But when I saw the result, I wasn't happy about how you could see the foam in between the gaps. So I decided to add a bit of material, the one I used for the curtains of his room. And after cutting a rectangle, I used my pink incisors so it wouldn't fray. And then I saw it on the inside of one of the openings, but following one of the seams I already had done and leaving the ties out so I could tie it up. And it looks much better like that. And these are 
the cushions finished. It's a simple project, but it's always good to remember how to do things properly and for example, how to finish zippers in a nice way so they look nice and neat. And this is another way to finish cushions, for example, floor cushions. I didn't want to rush to buy a zipper or anything like that, so it's okay. And if you don't have any cotton ribbon like this one, you can use anything you have, even if it doesn't match the color really, and you can put it inside, push it in, so you don't see it as much if you don't like it. And uh, this side is the bottom bit anyways, so it's nice. I'll be comfy tonight. So this has been my little project. Let me know what you think and if you have any projects around like this. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss anything next week. Bye!